Hey boy, are you on the bottle again? <laughs> Give me that toy. Give me that toy. Give me your toy. You here? Bring it here. Okay. 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 Go get it. Come on. Alright y'all, we're back over to Charlie's over here and uh, I'm going to try to do another static on this. Uh, I went ahead and I cut in a, a return here, tried to open it up a little bit, got me a couple returns going there. Um, he had, it was, this is the only return in the house right here, that's it. So they don't have the money right now for me to take the duck on down and tap into the living area, the living space up here so I could get like returns in each room. It just, it's just not going to happen. It's not feasible at this time. You know, times are beyond tight here. But uh, I was just making the point that this is not, you know, this is a full basement here. I have more than enough CFM and I've actually checked. I'm not pulling no vacuum with that return there. You know, here in Kentucky we do put returns down in basements. But uh, anyway, you know, heck, it's off a crawl here. So it, like I said, it's not sealed tight or anything. You know, there's a crawl space back in there. That's kind of open and everything. Open to the outside. You know, it's just not completely sealed if y'all get what I'm saying. But, you know, I was just going to put that out there before, you know, everybody slammed me for putting uh, returns down here in the, in, the, uh, in the basement here. But this is, like I said, this is just temporary until he can come up with the money, okay? Uh, let me get after my static test here and uh, we'll, uh, we'll take a peek, all right? All right, looks like we're functified here too. Let me get after it. Okay, y'all, we uh, we got the uh, furnace unbutton here, and I've got it jumped out on the uh, yellow and the red. We're going to do another static pressure test over here at Charlie's. This is a 75,000 BTU, 80% rud. It's got a three-ton drive on it. And we've got a two and a half ton Linux out back on an ADP coil up here. Um, we're shooting for a thousand CFM. We know the blower's putting out what, uh, 12, 4812. So uh, I'm going to try to dial her in as close as I can. But, you know, back in the day, they just did not do these returns the way it should be done, okay? I'm thinking he's actually getting like, uh, I did it on my, my chart over there. Um, it's rock, probably right at maybe two tons, two and a, two and a quarter tons, something like that, two and a half tons, something like that. But anyway, let me get the door back on here. I've got the, uh, the, the, the high speed wire, the black is on the cooling terminal and we're going to do a static. <sighs> Damn dust. All right, man. Uh, let me get started here and, uh, we'll see what we got. Okay. Uh, we've got the, uh, return cut in over there and I'm sure it's not going to give me what I need. I need that uh, trunk line and I need to uh, give me some runs upstairs, but uh, you know, we're just gonna have to do this for the time being. I mean, sometimes you have to do what you gotta do here. Uh, we've got the red jumped out, we've got the yellow jumped out. I've got the low speed red on the cooling terminal. Um, people ask me uh, if that's what you're supposed to test in on static. Yes, you test on that cooling terminal right there. All right, let's see what we got. Get the door on here. And we were way off the charts before. Going hot. And I went ahead and put my pitted tubes in the back here. I was told if uh, if I ever have the option to, uh, you know, hook in the back to hook in the back, I've got uh, my positive pitted in between the heat exchanger and the coil. I've got my negative pitted in between uh, the furnace filter and the blower there. All right. Low speed begins at 0.7. Okay, so we're almost off the charts right now. Okay, so what's that give us? 0.7. All right, here's Charlie's furnace right here. The 070 AMR, 75,000 BTU, three ton drive. We got a two and a half ton Linux. Uh, three ton is putting off 1200 CFM, the outside units. Uh, 1000 CFM, so we're looking for 1000. All right. It's given us 700, uh, 0.7 is given us 746 CFM. All right, let's bump it up, see what we got. 
Next wire up will be the medium low, will be the yeller. Oh, I got the medium low on the uh, cooling terminal. I went ahead and parked the red. Going hot. <clears throat> Okay, we're off the charts. That's giving us 0.84. Okay. Let's go ahead and I guess there's really no point in even continuing going on up. So what we need to do, like I said, is update the return here. And I know we need to have that return going all the way down this. Actually I probably need to oversize the return here. Basically it looks like it's uh eight by eight by ten there and uh coming off a 24 by eight drop. I'm sure that's well under, I've got my chart over there. I believe it was like uh, two, tons of, uh, two tons of return. But anyway, I guess this will actually help me uh, get my, uh, my uh, temperature rise down. So uh, like my brother said, you know, that's basically what we're really concerned about right now. So uh, let's get that and we'll check that out, all right? Okay, y'all, we're uh, getting ready to perform our uh, temperature rise test here. And it's saying uh, 35 degrees to 65 degrees. Okay, so hopefully we'll be within there. Uh, it looks like the limit goes out at 160. All right, I've got the, uh, I've got it jumped out again. I've got it jumped out from the red to the, to the white. Nope, take that back. I've got the cooling jumped out. Let me move her over here. Power is off. Okay, y'all, she's been running a good 20 minutes now. Uh, she's got the SRH2 hooked up. We're looking at uh, 117 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll call her 117 and we're looking at 70 all right 117 and 70 all right one 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 seven minus 70 gives us 47 okay we're within the perimeter there uh, we were looking for 35 to 65 I'd say that's that's pretty daggone good we're looking at 47 okay let me uh, let me change speeds okay y'all I reckon we're wrapping it up over here at Charlie's uh, really didn't get the static where I wanted her to be but uh, I definitely got the, uh, the temperature drop exactly where I wanted it to be and uh, if it wasn't for cutting those in right there, I, I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't have got it. I was burning way high last time. But uh, anyway, uh, like I said, those returns are just temporary till, uh, till Charlie gets money together to run uh, some additional ducks so we can actually get uh, returns out of the bedroom upstairs. So, but anyway, I reckon I'll holler at y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.